I'd like to take another minute to round a bigger number. If you look here, we have the number 239. Our instructions say, round to the nearest 10. Don't be afraid. If we follow our rounding rules, we're going to get this. Step one says, identify your place. We're going to go to what we know about place value. We know that this is the ones, the ones place or the ones digit. We know that this is our tens place. And over here, I hope I can fit this in. This is bigger. This is our hundreds place. Maybe I'll have to put it a little bit below, unless I can move these over. There. Ones, tens, hundreds. Round to the nearest ten. Well, I'm still just looking at my tens place on here. That was step number one. I found my tens place. Step number two says look next door. Remember that we look to the right of this and I'm going to go over here to the ones place. Step three says is it four or less? Is this four or less? Let it rest and round down. Well a nine is not four or less. It's more than four and if we remember our round the mountain number nine is way over here on the other side of the mountain it's on the round up side. And that's also what step four says here. Is it, it says, is this number five or more? Raise the score and round up. So here comes the next part. I'm rounding to the nearest 10. That means that this hundreds digit stays the same in my new number. So I'm going to keep the two and that we've already decided that we're rounding up. That means that I add a one to this place value, to this column. So I'm going to add three plus one is four. And this becomes a zero. So my new number, my rounded number is 240. Another thing, question you could ask yourself, when if it says, is it rounding to the nearest 10? I would say, well, 239 is between 230 and 240. Is it closer to 230 or is it closer to 240? And when we followed our rounding rules, we rounded up to 240. Let's try another one. Here is the number 174. Our instructions say round to the nearest 10. Step number one says identify your place. We'll get our place value labels out again. This is our ones column. And this is our tens. And this is our hundreds. We're rounding to the nearest 10. So this is the digit that, we, that we're deciding upon. Step number two says, look next door. So I'm gonna move over one place to the right and I'm looking at my ones column. Step number three says, is this four or less? Let it rest, round down. I'm just gonna check with my round the mountain anchor chart and I see that uh, our ones column is a four. It's on this side of the mountain, and that means that we round down. What will my new number look like? I keep the hundreds the same, because rem remember, we're rounding to the nearest 10. So this stays the same. So I'll put a one here. We said, since this is four or less, we round down. That means that my tens digit my seven, my, <laughs> my seven, my seven stays the same. And this becomes a zero. Now, if I wanted to check on a number line, I would be asking myself the number 174. I'm rounding to the nearest 10. That means it's, it falls somewhere between 170 and 180. 
which would it be closer to? And we know from a number line that a 4 is closer to, the, to um, 74 would be closer to 70 than it would be to 80. And we've rounded down correctly.